hello everyone welcome back to integration guru and this is the third tutorial in the oracle soa 12c series so i did receive a couple of feedbacks from my previous videos from friends and family who are my current audience of my channel so one is that my voice is not coming through like it's not quite audible if we are not using uh, earphones so I'm gonna speak or I'm gonna record this tutorial in a high pitch voice and at the same time I have made some changes in my uh, laptops sound settings as well and let's hope it will work the second feedback that I received is that I should be having some sort of watermark on my videos for the authentication purpose and one suggestion came through that i should be having a photograph of mine on the corner of this video so i might include that as well in my future videos so having said that today we are gonna look at the j developers overview so this will be our last video before doing the actual integration doing the actual coding so from so far we have learned how to install so in, in your machines we have installed uh, we have learned how we can check uh, enterprise manager as well as weblogic console and now we are going to check j developer so what is j developer j developer is an ide for soa development so it is a tool on which you develop soa services and you can deploy SOA services from JDeveloper itself. So those who are from coding background, they might be familiar with JDeveloper. If not JDeveloper, they might be familiar with Eclipse as well. Uh, so this is somewhere similar to Eclipse only, just look and feel is a bit different. However, the functionality is almost the same. We can develop Java code as well in JDeveloper. However, for now we will be looking at the aspect of SOA development through J developer so in J developer overview first of all let me tell you how SOA works so SOA will have applications in one application there can be multiple services or you can say projects So to create uh, an application, you can go to files and new an application here or you can simply control N which is the shortcut key here and you can type here so application. So I have already created one so application which is integration guru app and here you will we will be creating a project and even the future POCs as well we will be using the same application only so in application the file which gets created is dot JWS and project we have dot JPR it's a good to know information not very related that if you don't know the extension you will not be able to develop it's nothing like that it's just a good to know information so now under projects again you we can simply press control n same screen will come and you can type so a project here you can click on so a project click on ok and you can now give the project name so here we will give name whatever like just say dummy project so you can see that this is the workspace that we are dealing with we are dealing in uh, mic work and under this we have an application integration guru app and now we are creating a project dummy project uh, under this particular application we will create empty composites so there are different components as well which we can select here only or we can select them later on so for this overview we will be selecting them later on and we are creating a blank project we'll click on finish and we can see that a blank project has been created here 
so if you check under the project directory section here there is a root directory called SOA under SOA we have events events is for EDL files event delivery networks EDN files and second one is schemas which is uh, your XSD files test suits are if you are creating some test cases and testing it within your JDeveloper test suits file come under this transformation is for XSLTs XSLT files and this is for visuals and this is your composite which is opened at the moment here so if you check it from the directory itself you will see this is composite.xml however in here you can see it is as a project name so now every project is divided into three separate sections one is exposed services so here all the endpoint URIs will come which is exposed to the outer world a third party or any application can in integrate or can communicate with this particular service using the endpoint URIs or adapters which we will be using under exposed services section components is where all the magic happens so all the business logic what service needs to be called when what operation needs to be called when how how are we going, how are we going to handle errors exceptions and all that comes under the components section and external references is the uh, external APIs, services, adapters, which we are calling to fulfill the business requirement. Now, this is the most important aspect of SOA, which we need to do any sort of development. So these are technology or can also be termed as adapters to connect to different services these are the components which comes in this middle section here so if you want if you put this component and try to put it under exposed services it won't let you do it so it's a smart tool it won't make you do such foolish thing so it automatically will ask, ask you to drop it under the component section only similarly if these adapters if you will try to drop it in the component section it won't allow however it will be allowed for exposed services and external references so in later on tutorials we will definitely cover many adapters by while doing POCs and we will try to cover almost all components as well so now let's let me tell you like the most important components the theoretical part of it while we are covering JDeveloper overview only so this Beeple I mean in my experience Beeple covers like 70% of SOA all the advanced or complex uh, business logic we can develop in Beeple processes and business rules are uh, rules like if else sort of rules we can write in business rules it has got very very much depth to it as well but uh, in a nutshell we can see we define certain rules to it for example we want to create um, one application for giving out approvals of driving license then we will check if the age of the candidate is less than 18 we will simply decline it else we can approve it that this particular candidate is eligible for driver's license so we can define those sort of rules under business rules only and these rules can be edited through SOA composer which is a different console altogether for SOA we will cover that as well later on so human task is whenever a human intervention is required within a flow to process or to complete human task comes into the picture for example leave approval so if you apply for a leave your manager checks if that leaves needs to be approved or rejected in this sort of scenarios the human task comes into the picture mediator uh, mediator is also termed as small 
enterprise service bus so whenever we do not have a lot of business logic to implement and we just want to mediate a message from source to target we can use mediator as a component we will take something from the exposed service and we will put it to the external reference so if whenever there is not much business logic required we can use mediator so and oracle service bus which we will be covering after soa probably now that can be termed as a bigger tool which serves the purpose of mediation and uh, which serves the purpose what mediator does here spring i mean to be really honest with you i never got the chance to use spring in any of the project however i have done few poc just to learn what it does so spring is whenever you want to use java classes java apis into your project as a components spring is comes in handy we will do a poc of that as well for you guys to give uh, to get a perspective from that sub processes is something which has been introduced in soa 12c only it was not a part of 11g so sub process is somewhere similar to beeple only but a segment of code which can be reused inside a beeple so we will be doing pocs of sub processes as well now there are different technologies that you can see here so the technologies are nothing but adapters which which will help us to connect to different uh, servers or different apis different end systems in short so as you can see we have jms here for java messaging service file to transfer files from within the server where soa is installed we we have ftp for transferring files from one end to another uh, when the communication is there between two different servers all together rest soap ums for user messaging service so all sort of adapters which you can use now uh, the most common ones that i think i have used is database direct ftp file jms and rest and so these are i think the most common ones that i have used however i have in a very few projects i have used coherence bam ums adapters as well so we will try to cover most of them in our uh future segments and these are again the adapters only uh which you can use for example these are the cloud adapter which has been introduced in soa 12c only if you want to connect to erp cloud or oracle right now or sales cloud these adapters can come in handy or if they those cloud services has exposed themselves as rest or soap web services you can simply use rest and soap adapters as well in order to communicate with cloud adapters so i think this is the basic overview of j developer however there will be every component comes with a set of activities that come in handy whenever we try to execute a business logic so that we will be covering probably in next segment when we will do a hello program of soa and once we do that i'll walk you through to do some important activities as well which will come in handy when you will be developing soa services so i think this is it for today the j developer session and from next session it onwards we will be actually developing soa services deploying them and testing them so it is going to get very exciting if you are actually willing to learn soa and if you have any questions or any suggestions please feel free to comment or drop me an email uh i will be sharing my email address on the description box in the description box and this is it for today uh, you take good care of yourselves guys and have a nice day ahead bye bye